Hello students, now let us talk about the fifth part of the semi-conservative replication of DNA. Here, I'll be talking about the fourth step of replication, which is called as synthesis of new strands. Is that okay? Let's start. A look at this picture. What do you see? You guessed it right. This was the same picture from the previous module. We call it as the replication fork. Yes? Fine. Let's check the orientation of the two strands. One is reading from 3 prime to 5 prime and the other one is to be read from 3 prime to 5 prime in the opposite direction. Is that okay? Now let's bring back an enzyme here. Look at that enzyme. What is this enzyme? You know it. It is DNA helicase. That's correct. Let us put the helicase into action and open the strands some more. There you go. And voila, once again, what did you see? You simply saw that the two strands of DNA now got almost completely separated. Yes, correct. Now, let's check the orientations once again. You have the 3 prime, 5 prime, and you have the 3 prime, 5 prime in the opposite direction for the two strands, right? Now, these both single strands can act as template for synthesizing new strands. Is that okay? For right now, I'm going to just look at that left strand as a template. Let us see how does this template strand make a new strand on itself, right? Now, for the purpose of replication, we require a molecule called as RNA primer, right? Look at the name, RNA primer. What is a primer? Let's see that. A primer is a strand of short RNA sequence that serves as a starting point for DNA synthesis, right? How cool is that? You have an RNA, but it synthesizes new molecule of DNA. Is that okay? Fine. Now, this RNA primer is synthesized by a special enzyme not shown here called as RNA primase. So, please remember RNA primer is synthesized by RNA primase enzyme. Right. Now, look at that RNA primer carefully. Look at that symbol yellow, right? You know that if it was orange, that would be thymine and that would be DNA. But this is RNA, so I've changed the color to yellow and that yellow is what? Uracil. And that's why you know that is an RNA primer. Now, what does this primer really, really do? Let us see that next. Now, this primer is known to attach to the three prime end of the template strand. Do you see the template strand? Yes, you do. Do you see the three prime end? Now you do. Is that okay? So let's take the RNA primer and put it on the three prime end of the template strand. What would it do after getting attached there? Let's see that next. Now these primers are known to attract complementary nucleotides from the nucleoplasm. Let us see how it would do that. Look at there. What do you see? It is attracting complementary nucleotides from the nucleoplasm. And they should be complementary to what? They should be complementary to the bases on the template strand. But now it requires another enzyme to build that new strand. Let us see what that enzyme is. That enzyme is called as DNA polymerase. Remember, DNA polymerase is the main replicating enzyme because it will replicate or it will make the new strand of DNA. And let us see how it would do that. That's the polymerase here. It is scanning the template and it is adding the complementary base pairs and building up the new strand. You can see how that is happening, right? Look carefully. Yes, I'm going to go ahead some more. Then again, I'm going to add new bases in my new strand that are complementary to the template strand. Some more ahead, some more bases. So that's what DNA polymerase does. It scans the template and it keeps adding the nitrogen bases, right? Complementary to the template strand, okay? Now I have built a new strand. I'm going to call this the new strand, synthesized from 5 prime to 3 prime direction. And this is how synthesis of new strand takes place. Notice something here very importantly. The new strand of DNA is always synthesized from 5 prime to 3 prime direction, which means the template strand should always be oriented from 3 prime to 5 prime direction. You have to make note of this. Very important. 
Okay, and this brings us to the end of the module number five on semi conservative replication of DNA. In the next module, I'll be talking about the sixth part of the semi conservative replication of DNA. Thank you and take care.